operating the Digital Pelvic Inclinometer, the DPI. Using a DPI allows the practitioner to expand their clinical biomechanics findings to a much more in-depth level around the pelvis, opening up a whole new realm of musculoskeletal understanding. The DPI is an easy-to-use handheld instrument designed to allow the practitioner to measure anominate, inclination and establish pelvic torsion. The two movable arms with sensory finger grips increase proprioception and therefore accurate measuring. The precision arms pivot about a main body which houses a digital inclinometer and a spirit level. The spirit level allows the main body to be kept level during measurement. The DPI allows the practitioner to record quantitative data both before and after the treatment. How does it work? Data is captured by the DPI via a tiny three-axis accelerometer attached to a small electronics board. The accelerometer measures the static acceleration of gravity in three directions. The electronics use this data to calculate the angle of tilt. This data is then shown in numerical form on the LCD. The DPI is only as accurate as its user and has a high inter and intra practitioner reliability if used in the correct manner, following the guidelines below. Handling instructions. Make sure that the digital inclinometer is working before you attempt to use it on your patient. To test that the DPI is working correctly, press the red button on the front face of the DPI and observe the digital numbers are displayed. Tilt the DPI up on one side and observe the change on the display. Ask your patient to stand upright in a space which gives you, the practitioner, enough space to kneel down by the side of them on both sides of the patient. Your patient should ideally be wearing suitable clothes to be assessed, i.e. shorts and t-shirt for males, shorts and a crop top for females, belts, buttons and other clothing accessories can inhibit an accurate reading. Ask your patient to cross their arms across their chest so that they don't get in the way of your measurements. Kneel down by the side of your patient and have the DPI accessible for use. The practitioner places the index finger and thumb of each hand on each finger grips at the end of the DPI arms. The index finger and thumb are touching, pinching the end of the DPI finger grip. The index finger and thumb fingertips cup the bony tuberosity during concurrent palpation of the posterior superior iliac spine and the anterior superior iliac spine on one side of the pelvis. The practitioner positions the DPI making sure that the spirit level bubble is central before recording the value on the LCD screen. The technique is now repeated on the opposite side of the patient's pelvis. A difference in inclination between each innominate establishes the degree of pelvic torsion. The DPI should not touch the patient's skin. Your DPI will be recalled annually for calibration and servicing. A courtesy DPI will be supplied to you during this process.